And so at this time, during this beautiful healing segment in our service, I just want us to go inward to that higher altar in, the, in that Christed conscious area of our mind. So let's close our eyes, focus our attention inward, and we begin by taking a deep centering breath, connecting to Mother Earth, deep breath in, let that breath out. Mother Earth receives any negativity any challenges we have. Let's take a deep breath in. Again, let that breath out with all of your worries, concerns, troubles. Mother Earth receives beautifully, neutralizes, harmonizes, and balances any darkness in our lives. And so during this beautiful segment, we, we sit amongst our brothers, our sisters in this sacred sanctuary of light, of truth, of love. And in this time of being present in the now, we are aware that this room is filling with angelic beings. This room is filling with beings of light from all dimensions that have gathered to witness and to partake and to support the healing efforts of this meditation. They sit beside you. They, they walk into this room. They float into this room. They materialize into this room in all their special ways. And in their very being, in their presence, in their consciousness, they radiate various colors. Each color is a different frequency, a different expression of truth and love. Maybe the being that stands beside you is a beautiful emerald green. Maybe the being that stands on the other side of you is a beautiful uh, a cobalt blue, a beautiful ruby red, or citrine yellow. Vibrant and pure, wholesome and eternal. These beings have always been, these beings will always be. And they stand in truth for the message of metaphysics. And as you take your continued breath, normally just allow your, the white light of who you are to expand further beyond that auric field. With every breath, your light grows brighter, much stronger. And your light begins to merge with your brothers and sisters all around you, those seated in these chairs. You are sharing your light, your love, your very presence, the presence of God, really, with your neighbor. And do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Share your light. Share your light. And in this moment of sharing, we recognize that we are one family. One family with one purpose, which is to demonstrate the very presence of God on earth through our being, through our actions, through our thoughts, through our words, through our kindness. God is kindness. God is happiness. God is joy. God is bliss. God is love. When those emotions surge through the body, those beautiful positive motions, that is letting God flow through your very body temple. God is not some person on a throne in a distant galaxy. We, as human beings, this earth, this universe, is the expression of infinite intelligence, of eternal love, of desire in action, it is because of God's desire that we call love that this universe exists and that we exist within it. Each one of us has a purpose. What is your purpose? Is your purpose to be a healer? Is your purpose to be a channel? Is your purpose to be a teacher for others who are struggling in life? Is your purpose to be an example for others who, who just can't seem to get it, but you have somehow found what works for you and you begin to share that with others?
And with every breath, your, your light grows stronger. And it pushes out into the city. It pushes out into this country. It envelopes this planet in a beautiful white, even golden light. And this planet, as she breathes, she sends out a pulse of gratitude into the universe on our behalf. Blessing the dimensions that touch upon ours in this third dimension of truth. Blessing all realities and other species on all other planets with what started at the metaphysical chapel this morning. You have blessed and touched an infinite number of souls in this very, very sacred moment. And it all started with your breath. It all started with the kindness within. When I communicate with the spirit world, they tell me thoughts are things in the spirit world of life. Our thoughts manifest in the ethers. And so when we pray, when we heal, when we love at a distance, send healing thoughts and images and, and emotions to, to others at a distance, it literally creates beams of light. And those beams are energetically intelligent. And they travel exactly where they need to go. To the people you are focused upon. Thoughts are things. And so when we wake up every morning, we should be saying, thank you, God, for another, for another day. Thank you for the breath that allows me to step into another day. As simple as that. Stand in gratitude every day. Be the healing example, the healing light that changes somebody's life today. A smile can stop a suicide. A gesture of kindness can stop somebody from ending their life. That's how powerful we are. Your breath, your light, your love, your truth, your kindness is powerful. And Jesus told his disciples, know ye not ye are gods. Because they didn't in the moment believe that they had the same potentials as Jesus, or as Moses, or as Abraham, or as Muhammad, as all the great prophets. We have the same potentials as every prophet who has walked on this earth. Because every prophet was a human being. A human being, a spiritual being, having a human experience. And that is exactly what we are as metaphysicians. Spiritual beings, eternal spiritual beings, having a human experience. You have the same potentials. You have the same ability to create, to manifest, to materialize your needs, your wants, your spiritual desires. Believe, know, and have faith that our teachings will guide you. And so with this knowing, with this truth, with this lesson of love that we have received, I want us to begin bringing this message of love back into this body temple in this sacred space. Let's take a deep breath in, incorporating that into my light, keeping it strong and bright. Let that breath out, returning fully into the body temples, moving your fingers, your toes, and opening those beautiful eyes. Beautiful. Welcome back, friends.